Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Engine. Today we're looking at XMD Toolbox 2.0. Now, XMD Toolbox 2.0 is one of the best things that you can ever have if you're into ZBrush. By the way, this tool is made available by an amazing artist known as Michael Dunham. And of course, he has created tons and tons of things. We've talked about him in a couple of free Fridays. You can come over to his page, grab all these things for free and, you know, get started with working with it. Today we're looking at one of the beautiful tools that you should actually get if you're into ZBrush and that is the XMD toolbox. It solves a lot of problems. It solves problems of organizing, it solves problems of managing in terms of actually knowing where things are at a given point. So to get started with this, all you need to do is go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here and you can download the toolbox 2.0. Now for those who like to get the free version of the toolbox, you can check out the toolbox version 1 which is available right here but the features which you'll be getting with the 2.0 is way more so with that said we're going to dive directly into zbrush and take a look at how this one works so with zbrush simply open right here let's take a look at certain things that you will do traditionally so by default once you're working with zbrush you actually have to go here and then search for the brushes and if there's a particular brush you're looking for you cannot find it you have to go over to your toolbox and then go over to brushes and scraggle all the way through. The same thing happens with alphas, okay? So these are the alphas that you have. If you cannot find the one you're looking for, you go over to alphas right here and then you have to scraggle through to find them. And what if you already have a folder of alphas, a folder for your noise, fiber mesh and all that stuff? It takes a whole new different approach because you have to click here, import that and use it. This is just one of those things that you probably wouldn't want to do every single time. So with this said, your question is going to be, what does the XMD toolbox bring to the table? All right. So if we fire up the XMD toolbox right now, this is what it looks like. The version two is extremely clean, is way better than what we had with the version one. And you can see all of these things in their glory. All of the brushes that you ever want, all of the brushes that exist in ZBrush are right here. Now, if you like to favorite these brushes because you love working with them every single time, you can just simply click on this button and that's how easy it is. So you don't necessarily need to go back and forth trying to find the brushes all the time. You can just simply do that. So we can say we we'll like working with the clay, maybe the clay builder probably would like working with things like the deco brushes, or maybe we want to work with something like the eye brush. You just favorite them and they're going to be right here. If you like to create a favorite of certain things that you also like to work with, you can see click on this button right over here and create a favorite. So in this case, we could call this cloth and this is definitely going to be our cloth brush palette where we can save our favorite brushes for clothing and we can proceed, give it a given color, click on OK and there you have it. So at this point, we can go over to the cloth section and say maybe we'd like to get the cloth pull, we'd like to get the cloth twist, probably would like to get the cloth hook and also the move and then you would notice that we have have all these things right over here. So how you can work with this in ZBrush is super simple. All you need to do is click on this button and it simply minimizes it and you can have it here. Now, if you want to have this every single time when you're working in ZBrush and you don't want it to fall behind, you want it to always overlay, click on this button and it's definitely going to be on top every single time. Now, in several cases, you might also want to dock this by the side so that you can have access to lots of things because that is also something that is very possible. So what we need to do is just simply click on this button, dock that by the side, click on this button, dock that, click right here to minimize this and then you can click right here to get even way more stuff. Now, at any point in time, you would like to even see some more things. Of course, you can just proceed to click on this button to maximize it and get the most out of it. Now, in terms of arranging stuff, this is just super crazy. So right here, you have your brushes. Right over here is where you have alphas. So in case you have multiple alphas, you can find them here. You can also find your textures from here. All the textures that exist in ZBrush are right here. So you can just simply click and start working with them. If you're looking for fibers, all your sample fibers are here. If you would like to play with the tools that also comes with ZBrush, you have them here. You have your light presets. If you go over to this button here, this is where all your projects are saved. So any project that you've saved and you actually assigned to a given folder, or projects that exist directly in ZBrush, you can have access to them here. So it just cuts down all those extra time of thinking, finding things, and actually trying to know where things are in ZBrush. This is actually not something you want to spend time doing. So for you to use this in ZBrush, all you need to do is after creating your preference of choice, you know, you're done creating all of the favorites that you like to work with, you can just simply double click, for example, and you have it there. So if we also double click right here, we have it here 
and we can proceed to do some amazing stuff. So let's say, for example, we'd like to just uh, proceed to make something like here. I'm just going to go in and reduce my brush and we can start sculpting as we want. So in this way, we can proceed to make some sculpts and do some stuff like that. If we're also looking for other things, so let's say we're looking for something like this. Of course, we can just simply double click and proceed to also start adding that. And this is how easy it is. So in cases where you also have alphas and you like to favorite the alphas, you like to work with all the time, you can do that. So we can go over to the alpha section right now, click on the plus button and define these as alpha. So these are like our favorite alphas that we like to work with. And we can just give it a given color like this, click on OK and say OK to that. So within this section, we can favorite the alphas that we like to work with. I love myself a soft alpha like that. Let's also get another one. Maybe we can get something this harsh, maybe something like that. Something like this looks cool. And you have that. So at any point in time, you're working in ZBrush and you like to get those alphas working instead of clicking on this button, finding these, going over to, you know, Lightbox and doing that. That is the thing of the past. All you need to do now is go over to the brush you like to work with, double click to get that, switch over here, double click to get the alpha you like to work with. And that is how simple it is. And most of you guys might be saying, why do we have to double click all the time? Okay, so if you don't like double clicking, you might probably like this one. If you click on this three dot button that exists here, which is for the settings, you can go over to the settings and then you can tell the XMD toolbox. Anytime you simply click, you would like things to be selected and set to active. So what happens is at any point in time, if we go back and simply select something like the clock move, you see that automatically it gets selected. If we also go over to the alpha section and we select this, you'd also notice that that way you have it selected. So this just simply makes a lot of sense. And of course, it's definitely going to make it very easy for those working with ZBrush to have a wonderful time working with ZBrush and organizing their stuff. Now, the organization of these things actually becomes more crazy once you think about the functionality that comes with this in terms of management. So if you click on the three buttons and go over to the settings, this is like the cream on top of the whole thing. You can specify folder locations where your brushes exist and it will load all of them here so instead of always reloading your brushes and reloading your brushes for different projects that is a thing of the past you can add any tag you like to have there and the same thing happens for alphas if you have like a truckload of alphas you like working with you can simply load these alphas in here favorite them by preference and also add tags the same thing goes for textures same thing goes for material light project tools fibers zbrush ui and also your library and of course if you go over to the library section you can also see the repository where you your downloaded xmd source files are going to be saved so with this said what if you like to get some more brushes some more alphas some tool sets that you like to use for sculpting in zbrush that is not a problem because if you go over to the xmd source website you can choose to download as much things as you want now within the marketplace there's a whole lot of brushes that you can download and play with and in cases of free stuff if you go over to the free section there's also a huge set of free things that you can download and start having fun working with meanwhile if you also go over to the ad station you can download all of these things for free but then if you already have the toolbox 2.0 you don't necessarily need to go through that route to get things happening all you need to do is go over here and click on the library button and then log in and once you're done you'd have access to the online library of brushes that already exist so if you're looking for alphas you can have access to all the alphas here and once you click on the download button you can actually watch it download if you would like to get the free stuff instead of downloading these things into separate folders trying to arrange them this will organize it in such a way that it will be super simple and also super easy for you you to have access to them at any point in time in ZBrush. So we can also click on this download button to set down one in QY downloads. And if you remember, there is also a member only set of brushes that you can get. You can also proceed to find any of these things. Click on the download button to get them happening. It's also worth knowing that you can change the thumbnail layout. So just in case you don't like the thumbnails like this, of course, you can click on this button, get them bigger, click one more time to make them smaller. So if you also want to change the UI of your ZBrush, that is also super simple. Click on this button at any point in time within the ZBrush brush color section and you can change the color however you want so in cases of ui layout and also ui stuff you can make any changes at any point in time as all of these things are right here and you don't necessarily need to get into zbrush to make tweak settings for both your user interface, your alphas, and much more. All of these things are right here. And of course, you can take advantage of these and get the most out of your sculpt and also out of your ZBrush project. A huge shout out to Michael Dunham for making this one possible. The XMD Toolbox version 2 actually saves you a whole lot of time as you may want to do things like hard surface and also organic stuff. And you know, by default, once you're loading in ZBrush, every single time you have to reload these brushes. But with a toolbox like this, you can categorize this and you can just simply go over to your favorite brushes. Once 
to start a new project and you don't need to load your brushes your maps your alphas you just hit the ground running and speaking about you creating amazing things and knowing how to work with zbrush the xmd academy is right here so for those who like to learn about zbrush you want to get all the necessary understanding of how to work with zbrush and create some beautiful and amazing piece you can go over to the xmd academy and get started with it mike adunam has also made it available for those who would like to purchase any of these things you can actually go over to his page check out some of the things that you can grab for free and also sign up for a premium membership where you can get a premium membership and also have access to all of the things that is available on the xmd source and that's about it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace